Hello, in this video, I'm going to go over how to make this gem base, and it will be a stone, ancient looking thing. Um, so, I model this asymmetrically, so I'm rotating it in ZBrush, then going to Geometry, Modify Topology, Mirror and Weld, and that puts it, makes it into a symmetrical object. And then um, I'm going to melt these things together by going to DynaMesh, and then I Z remesh it to get better topology. Now I go over and create a um, clay tubes brush and then I change the stroke to spray. And this gives you kind of a noisy looking stone effect. Um, so I just go around and add some variation. I don't have symm uh, symmetry on right now, but that's fine. Um, you can put on symmetry just to get an overall um, effect on it first and then add asymmetry afterwards or vice versa. Um, so I'm going around here adding some noise and then um, the next thing you can do is go to surfaces and in here you can add a noise and there's some preset ones here so you have to click into that. Um, this is a bit tricky to control and if you go to edit you can change like the magnitude and strength and all that kind of stuff. So now um, the way that this works is it's just a normal effect. It doesn't actually bake it in until you set apply to mesh and that can look different. Um, so you might have to go back and forth, undo it and apply it and then um, undo it and change the settings, that kind of thing until you get something that you like. So now I'm just going around adding more noise breaking up, adding bigger cracks and chunks out. Um, and then you kind of want to make sure that you make, have good design, even with stuff like this. You don't want things to have the same scale. You want medium, small, and large cuts and shapes. And then I'm using the knife tool by hitting Control and Shift and um, trying to add bigger cuts that are sharper. So now I'm going to add some noise in those cuts because they're a little too smooth in those sections. So now I'm going to duplicate my finished sculpt and I'm so that I can keep one for projecting onto my better topology. And so now I'm going to go to Z mesh and I was noticing it wasn't working. So then I did a dyna mesh first and then I did a Z mesh and then I do usually set it to either same or just adapt and then I go down go to lower subdivision and I keep on hitting it until I get to a lower subdivision level um, that is reasonable for my scene. And then I was trying to get done fast so I used the UV um, run wrap tool in ZBrush and then, um, then I go to morph and just to see what that looks like. So now I will go over and export out each one of these as um, an OBJ, so I select one and, and export it out, and then I select the other one, the high version, and put underscore high in there and send it out. So 
So the next part is bringing it into Substance Painter. So OpenGL, 4K, bring in your lower version. Then I'm going to bake my mesh maps, 4K, bring in my high version. And wherever there's red, I'm trying to get rid of that. So I'm expanding it out or shrinking it if I need to. Then I'm baking it. And then that should get all your detail into there. And yeah. So for this, I started with a pre-made material. And I was just looking through them and seeing. Um, so I just grabbed one of those, just threw one on and seen what I get. Um, I like that one, but I decided to change the color by using HSL perspective because I want it to be more grayish blue kind of look to it. So that gave me a good base. And then I added a, another layer and I wanted this to be the edges of things. So that it will be a lighter color. So I did a generator with metal edge and then I blended it down, just trying out the different blending modes and change like the opacity, that kind of thing. Um, and then I was looking at the settings in my original, in the um, actual material, pre-made material. Some of them are pretty difficult to work with, so just be aware of that. And yeah, so that's looking pretty good. Then I add another generator, or another layer, and this will be the cracks and crevices and I use a dirt modifier and then I start blending that down.